Thank you all for your commitments so far. As you all know, in this company, we like to announce and appreciate the employee of the month. This is to encourage all our workers and to give honor to whom it is due. On that note, let's get straight to the point. This month's most outstanding employee is Gloria. Thank you everyone, I'm truly honored. Whatever. Karen, what was that for? Why did you do it? Do what? This. You were obviously unhappy for Gloria. Why? What do you mean by why? Am I not supposed to be the employee of the month? On what basis? What makes you think you merited it? My hard work of course, and dedication to duty. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? Everyone in this office knows that you do I service a lot. You just want to be seen doing things, not necessarily putting your heart to it. You hate this job, that is what you say sometimes. Have you forgotten? All right, that is enough. You can leave now, I need to get back to work. How do you expect that you would perform excellently with such mindset? I said that you should leave now before I call the security. Calm down. That won't be necessary, I'm not here to judge you, I just wanted to remind you that you are a Christian and should be seen as one. You always express jealousy whenever anything good happens to anyone around you, and that is not good. You should live out the Christ-like life, that way, your light will shine on those around you. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion, Romans 12 verse 15 through 17. All I know is that I should have gotten that, instead of Gloria. There's always a next time, you can work harder next month. Can I get back to work now? Could you imagine? Who is she to tell me what to do, or how to live my life? Is it a bad thing to be unhappy with someone else's success? I cannot pretend that I'm happy, that would make me a liar. I'm still trying to console myself by believing that the right man will find me one day. Now they want to make me unhappy at work. What kind of life is this? Why is my own case different? Thank God I'm close to the bus stop. I hope a bus will come right away. I need to get home and rest. Hey, young lady. Hello. Hi, I was trying to stop you but you didn't hear. I heard you. I just chose to ignore you. Please, could you tell me your name? What do you want from me? Or are you here to beg for money? Why would you say that? I just wanted to talk to you and find out if we could get to know each other. How can a poor looking man like you approach me? What gave you that audacity? You don't have to be rude, and why would you judge me based on my appearance? Even if I were poor, is that a reason to insult me? I have a class of people I associate with, and you certainly do not fit in that class. So... Stay in your low class and never disturb me again. <laughs> wow. I never expected this manner of words from a decent looking lady like you. But it's fine, I'll be on my way now. Rubbish. I'm still complaining of missing the employee of the month award and this one is trying to worsen my anger. Karen, I came earlier to look for you. I'm just getting home now. It was difficult getting the bus today. Why were you looking for me? You ask like you don't know. I came to ask for the money. Is it the money you lent me? Didn't I tell you that I will bring the money to you when I have it? You've been saying the same thing for months now. And I know that you are being paid at work. That money is little and I really need it. Please give it to me. I hope you're not here to insult me. I just said that I don't have the money now. You're aware that I have kids, right? We do not have any money to feed tonight. Even if you don't have the money to pay me back right now, please help me. Give me food or a little money to feed my children and I. I just want to get something we can eat tonight. You can as well deduct what you give me from the money you're owing me. I desperately need to give my kids food to eat. They haven't fed well today. Do I look like a food bank? As I'm standing here, I'm even more hungry than you. 
and I'm not sure of what I lead tonight to. Go look for someone else to help you, I can't do anything. God please send me help. My dear, I hope you don't mind, I heard your conversation with my neighbor and I want to help you. Nama, I do not mind at all, I'll be glad to accept your help. I want you to feel free with me. I'm a Christian and I believe in helping those in need. Proverbs 3 verse 27 through 28 says, Do not withhold good from those who deserve it, when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, Come back later. I'll give it tomorrow when you now have it with you. I want you to have this understanding, so that nothing will hinder you from helping others too when you can. If we can keep doing these, the world will be a better place. And also reach out to me whenever you have a need. All right, I didn't make any sales today that is why I really needed the money from her. Here's the money, you can use it to get your kids a nice meal. Thank you so much. It's your neighbor, please open the door. What is it again tonight? Why don't you want me to rest? I'm really sorry to disturb you, but I just want to ask. Why did you refuse to pay her? Because I know that you have the money. And if I have the money, how is that your business? I'm just concerned, she helped you when you needed it, and now that she needs your help, you sent her away empty. You say you are a Christian, but your life does not reflect that at all. Stop. If you're here to tell me all that, I've heard enough of it already. The fact that I'm a Christian doesn't mean I shouldn't live my life the way I want. I say or do things when and how I like, it's just me and nothing can change that. I cannot pretend for anyone. And if you don't leave me alone, I will change it for you. If that is the case, then you haven't truly accepted Jesus into your life. Being born again means you surrender your life completely to Him, and live to please Him. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Psalm 39 verse 1 says I will guard my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle. In Proverbs 13 verse 3, Solomon adds that he who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Bridling the tongue is evidence that God is at work in your life. I want you to think about these words, reflect on them, and God will help you to live right with him. Are you done now? Yes, dear. Well, I think that went well. How worse can today get? Everyone has an opinion about everything I do. And just when I was thinking that I would get something good, instead a destitute man approached me. What is all this? Am I not beautiful enough? Anyways, I'll keep living my life my way. I am sure I'll find someone who will love me just the way I am. Oh yes. Keep living that way. Do not listen to what anyone tells you, I like your style. Continue. Waiter, I want you to give me the number three item on your food menu, and a glass of water. Okay, ma'am, I'll get that. Anything else? No. <gasps> Is that not the guy that met me at the bus stop the other day? I can't believe he is following me around. I have to put an end to this. Hey, you, why are you following me around? Excuse me, what are you talking about? Don't pretend like you do not understand what I mean. Why are you here at the same time with me? This is a big restaurant, and it's not exclusive to you. I have the right to be here whenever I want. Just stop following me. If it's money that you're looking for, I don't have any to give you. You think so highly of yourself, and it's such a pity. Get off that thought, everything is not about you. I'm just here to have a good time, and I like to come here often. You're welcome to join me if you wish. Whatever. Okay. Today is so special, I want to ask her to marry me. I hope she says yes. Claudette, where are you going looking all dressed up? I'm going on a date with Jerry. <laughs> and who is the unfortunate Jerry that wants to take you on a date? Why would you say that? I hope you told him that you are a widow, with three kids. 
he deserves to know what he's getting himself into. Just saying. Hum, I forgive you. Driver, please stop a little further from the bus stop. My dear, you look very beautiful. Let's go. Him again. Well, I guess they fit each other. I want to take you to my favorite place for dinner. That's fine. But I have to go back home early because of my kids. That is not a problem. I will take you back on time. That is a promise. Did I see clearly? He came with that car. And he looks properly dressed. Hum, I have to verify this. I hope I haven't missed a golden opportunity. If it's what I'm thinking then I have to do something. She can't snatch what belongs to me and go scot-free. Ma, I just came to thank you again for the other night. The kindness you showed to us will never be forgotten. You're welcome dear, I hope your kids are fine. Yes, they are. Claudette, are you here for the money? No, I don't need it anymore. You can keep it. I have it now, let me go in and bring it. I said that I don't need it anymore, we're just fine. See, I'm getting married to Jerry. He proposed to me. Really? That's unfortunate. Karen, what do you mean by unfortunate? I hope she doesn't repeat what she did to her first husband. Are you happy now, Claudette? Please go home. I'll see you tomorrow. That was a very terrible thing to say. Why should you remind her of her dead husband? And to worsen it, you blame her for his death. That is an act of wickedness. What will you gain by causing anyone grief? Do you feel satisfied? You should learn to see the good in people and be happy for others. Maybe when you do so, good things will come to you too. It won't cost you a dime to show politeness to others. You won't understand. That was supposed to be me, he approached me first. Is that what this is all about? If he approached you first, what did you do? Why did he change his mind? I'm sure Claudette had nothing to do with this. You need to stop blaming everyone else but yourself for your failure. Nobody else's success is a reason why you are not succeeding. Take responsibility for your actions. Just like I've told you before, truly surrender to God and you will see a difference in your life. Thank you, I'll ponder on these words. Good night. Good night. I think there's some truth in what she said. I don't get satisfaction from putting others down, it only fuels more jealousy. And does it reflect the character of Christ? No, it doesn't. I have to change the way I live. Lord please help me. And if that is how people see me, then I have to change the impression they have of me. I will go out to the streets and preach the gospel. Maybe that way, they'll begin to see me differently. I bring you good news today, repent, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Huh, is that not Karen preaching? Wonders shall never end. Karen, let me tell you the truth. You're wasting your time, and there people are booing you. They said you should go away. Why? I will personally drive you away. If the way you've been living and acting is Christianity, then I will never be born again. I don't want to live like I hate everyone around me. Never. Is this how far I have gone? How can I be the reason someone rejects the gospel? I can't be populating hell, how did I get here? I should be spreading the good news of God instead. Lord please have mercy on me, I've come to you, just as I am. Break me and make me a new person. I want to live like you, and I cannot do it on my own. I need you now more than ever. They did that because they already have an impression of you. The best thing to do now is to live the new life you have. With time, they will see that you are a new person, and will accept your message. Matthew 5, 13 says, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? 
It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. Dear believer, do not lose your value. Let everyone around you testify that truly you are a child of God by the life you live. Don't be the reason someone rejects the gospel of Jesus. Instead draw all men to God. Matthew 18 verse 6 to 7 But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it would be better for him to have a heavy millstone hung around his neck, and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. For offenses must come. But woe to that man by whom the offense comes. Believer, be on guard, and may God bless you. Please subscribe to our channel. Also like and comment on this video if it blessed you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.